Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artonian TV. A quick game of Interplanetary I Spy again here, just a short one for you. We have an image from Sol 571 here. Here's the, the Sol number here, 571. Here's the JPL website. Here's the raw image, so called raw image, although it has been resized and over compressed like they all have. Area of interest right at the bottom of this image here. There's a couple of interesting things which I will now show you a bit closer. When we get in close, you can see here we have an animal skull. Jawbone here, teeth, nasal cavity, eye, even some hair that's left on top of the cranium there. Now it looks like a kind of sheep or goat or something like that and maybe something very different I don't know but I can only really relate it to creatures we have on earth um, as with any of these things I've taken a clip of it here this is the raw image again you can see that a bit larger there we go uh, and before you do anything to this image you can tell it's an animal skull I quickly went round it with the selection tool darkened it up blurred it a little bit and turned the contrast up a bit and that's what happens. You get, you know, I changed the, the color temperature a little bit just to get rid of some of this puke filter. And there we have it. I mean, look at the eye. You can clearly see an eye there. You can see some teeth. You can see the, the jawbone very clearly there. It still looks like there's some fleshy material up here and hair. It looks like it's wearing a toupee, for God's sake. You know. Um, here's the enhanced version, which will end up on the cover of the uh, video. I've actually drawn around it more carefully here with the selection tool, manually drawn around it. Then I changed the color temperature, to warmed it up this time a little bit, up the contrast and blurred it a little bit, sharpened it a little bit, really simple stuff. And there you go. I mean, what else could it possibly be? You know, rocks don't have eyes, rocks don't have teeth, rocks don't have nasal cavities, rocks do not have hair. It ain't no rock. This is an animal skull, and one of many, many I've found, hundreds so far. One of the better ones, uh, because it's close to the camera, it is good detail. There is another smaller skull uh, further to the right. Let's get rid of those a minute. Um, it's down here, just here. It's about half the size, it's probably only about four or five inches long. Um, I've taken a clip of that so you can have a closer look. A bit harder to see this one because it's just because it's smaller. Here's the raw image. You can see what looks a bit like a beak here, a lower jaw here. There's an eye here, and what looked like two horns on this one. Don't know what this is. Um, haven't quite worked it out yet. I only just spotted this um, about an hour ago. Here's the enhanced version of it. Um, it may be some kind of um, goat or, or mammal or who knows what it is um, it's a bit a bit, a bit ambiguous this one a bit hard to see um, it's a bit too small really and the way the light's catching it doesn't really help I do actually think NASA are using face recognition software to um, automatically blur out a lot of this stuff um, and often the skulls you find the clear skulls you find are often in only in profile you rarely will find a skull staring straight at you with both eye sockets visible because they probably are using uh, face, facial rec recognition software as you would get on your normal digital camera now. Those, the first things they look for, uh, a bit like if you're taking um, a photo in, in, of your friends, they look for the eye sockets and nose. So they're looking for three, three things. They're looking for two eyes and a nose. Now, because these are facing sideways, we're seeing them from the side, the, the face recognition software, which I think they're using, doesn't spot them. So these haven't been badly blurred out. They have The image has been over compressed. If you zoom in, you can see the sort of squares where they've over compressed it and resized it. That would generally get rid of a lot of detail anyway. So they don't have to physically go in and actually obfuscate a lot of this stuff because the, the over compression does it for them um simple as that really uh this is why this hasn't been blurred out i mean this is pretty clear you can see when you go in you can see the compression lines here 
Now, what I think they've done is they've they've done a sort of a bad compression, as with all the mass cam images, um, pretty much, and they've just been badly resized. And and I think this is probably deliberate, but who knows? I mean, we know they're they're getting very high quality images from some of these cameras, and we're not getting them most of the time. Uh, we get occasional panoramic uh, images which are made up of high quality full res 200 dpi uh, images which are then stitched together some of them are excellent quality um, but what they tend to do then is they, they tend to darken it or muck around with the contrast so that everything's in shadow you often get the, the rover looking at rocks that are all in shadow um, and what is the point of that um, the, this isn't too bad because you have the light coming from the from the left here, so you're getting some good contrast here. Not too bad, not too bad at all. But if you look at some of the other other images um, in in, in the adjacent sets of images um, to this sol, um, they're much worse quality, probably because of the angle of the light. It does often depend on these shadows, and these these shadows are quite long. Let's have a quick look at the uh, the NASA page for this and see what time it was taken. Okay, okay, uh, 2014, okay, 15th to the 3rd March, that's March. So this was taken late, 23.06.53, blimey, 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> okay, right, okay. Uh, how does that work? Um, okay, <laughs> well that says a lot, doesn't it? Right, okay. Well... There are long shadows, so th this is either taken early in the morning or late at night, uh, in the evening. So that often that often helps with viewing this stuff. If you if you see a lot of um, mass cam images taken around the midday period, there are hardly any shadows at all, and that can be even worse because uh, the light's coming from directly above, and you don't get any any shadows to show the contours of some of these things. So the time of day that these are taken, it can, it can be quite important to, to the quality of the, of the actual image. If you know anything about photography, um, which I did study for a while when I was in college, then you'll know that light is everything. And uh, the angle of, of, of the light is really quite important when doing portraiture or, or taking photographs of any object. So bear that in mind. So if you see any really poor quality uh, um, curiosity or opportunity images is usually down to the fact they were taken around midday and are, and are really bad and they just you, it will just bleaches out and, and there's hardly any definition so there we go um, that was just a very quick look at that image uh, the link will be in the description I will I will uh, I will paste this uh, address under the the uh, video in the description on YouTube and I'll probably put it in the video as well interesting I mean, there's probably lots more stuff in here that um that i haven't spotted yet i mean there's so many rocks here there's thousands of sort of medium to, to large size rocks here and they're always worth looking at in detail if you can um i haven't even been through this whole set yet i've been through a few of them this is the very first one let's go back to the main page here i'll show you this is the very first one of the uh the oh, hang on, sorry let's go to, right to the top and there we go there he is right at the top should i say the very last one i don't know uh yeah i think they're taken from the bottom upwards so the ones at the bottom will be the first images yeah 2207 there and and over the course of an hour or, or hour and a half they've taken all these and this is the very last one taken on that day so there we go I do find that odd that that's 2306 uh, I can't quite work out why it's still light at that time uh, that is very strange um, I don't get it <laughs> yeah right that is rather strange indeed uh, how, how come is it still light there I don't know Any, anyone got any answers on, on that it could be give me a comment in the description uh, under the under the description on youtube don't quite get that how it can still be that light at that time of day um who knows uh maybe they don't 
have uh, the same tilt. I don't think they have the same tilt as Earth do. So that the, they have mainly mainly a, a summer and winter on Mars, and um, they may not have the sort of same daylight. And, and I know that they have about 25 hours a day, not 24, and they have a longer year. But um, this is a bit strange. Anyway, any comments? Feel free to leave them. Uh, if you have any ideas what this creature might be, let's have another very quick look at him uh, here. And we'll forget about him because he's a bit unclear. I don't really know with that one. Let's have a look at this guy. Let's get the enhanced one for you. There's the last look at him. What do you think it is? Uh, it looks to me like some kind of sheep or, or goat or something similar. But it may not be. It, it's quite an odd one, this. Um, it's pretty clear. Nice clear jawbone. Nice clear eye. Nice clear cheekbone there. Nice little bit of hair at the top there. What do you think? Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, nice quick one for you today. I'll see you soon.